ready? Before we get talking, let's start with prayer. Divine source, we come together today to share, to learn the truth of our situation, the reasons we're here, the reasons we are in this place and time. And we are so grateful for these opportunities and we are so blessed. Amen. I wanna talk to you today about a book called Giving Under Divine Direction. Reverend, Reverend Catherine Ponder, open yourself to receive. And she says, any man, woman, or child can transform their lives in whatever way he gives out. What he gives to God, what he gives to himself and others is a, is a, a mirror to what the blessings he will receive. Many blessings we may want to receive are within our reach, but they've been um, blocked from coming to us because of something that we are doing that doesn't allow an open channel for these blessings for us to receive. And so she suggests that we pray to have these blocks removed. And she mentions an affirmation, when you aren't sure what to give, affirm, I give under divine direction. And she says, you will be showered and shown how to give, what to give, and how to give. First give to God, and then to mankind as directed. And I wonder what you think about that. Well, the first thing I thought of when you started talking was the adage, is the cup half full, or is the cup half empty? And um, I, I know that seems kind of random, but the answer is the cup is refillable. And if you don't ever take any liquid out of the cup and put new in there, it becomes stagnant. And for me, that's the way I see the whole process of prosperity. If I clench it in a tight fist, it's much different than if I have my hand open. And um, I, I tithe uh, absolutely first and foremost, and I can't imagine that I could do all the wonderful things I do if I didn't start by, by tithing. Um, I, I think it's a powerful, powerful uh, ability and tool and concept, but I know that it goes in all things. I need to keep the channels open to be refueled and reinvigorated so that I'm able to give when I'm directed, however that is, whether it's time, whether it's talent, whether it's treasure, it, it will always be there as long as I keep that channel open and remember to fill the cup first. I'll share. What, what came up for me was the statement I give under divine direction. I, I think that's so ingrained in me now that I know that when I give generously, of my words, of my time, of my money, of my talents, listening, it comes back to me multiplied. And I, I get pleasure and I receive joy when I give. So even if it's someone standing on the street as I pass by and asking for money because he only has one arm, I'll gladly give to him. And it's just, we have the statement, God bless you, Dios te bendiga here. And just to say that they light up. I mean, it's like nobody's blessed them or given them love, uh, spoken to them. And 
I may not see what comes back to me for a while. I might not notice it, but when it's all in divine timing, multitudes come back and I couldn't plan it that way. I shared with some of you that I traveled to the San Diego area and a few days ago. And when I asked to stay at a friend's home, she, she's in Hawaii and she has a home in Oceanside. And she said, sure, you can stay for five days, free, no charge. Had a wonderful time. Another girlfriend loaned me her car for 10 days. Rental cars right now are $100 a day. And what a gift to me. I couldn't have planned that. I could not have planned that that would happen. And so I think God just has a way that when you give and you give generously, compassionately, caring, sharing, that it comes back in ways you can't imagine. And I'm really grateful for God's generosity to me and for me learning the joy of receiving when I give. I think that's really important. So thank you for letting me share. Thank you. That's wonderful. I, I like that statement. Um, I give under divine direction. I really like that. I had not heard that affirmation before. So I wrote it down for myself so that I could remember it. Um, I'm with you guys. I feel like I give, I'm good to give. It took me a long time to learn how to receive and that's part of giving and people don't, a lot of people don't understand that, that it's, it, you have to have the hand open. We can't just clasp like Linda said. And the whole thing about the cup is refillable makes, I mean, that's, that's it. And if it sits, if the water sits in there or whatever it is, sits in there too long, it is, does go stale. Any still thing does, right? So we have to be able to continuous keep, be like Eric Butterworth says, in the flow, in the flow. You know, so that's that's what I was hearing when you were, were saying that. And I think that it is important to give and receive and keep that flow open and be able to do it in ways that, you know, we don't always know what someone else wants or needs. So, you know, I stand there in, in God's light and say, hey, what do you want from me? And then God answers me. And then I'll do everything I can to make sure that that happens. I'm grateful for the, for the awareness and knowledge of this because for years it was about survival, you know, and growing up the way I did. And, and in my early adulthood, I did everything I could just to make it through the day. And I don't have to live like that anymore. And that's because I'm able to give and I'm able to receive because without both of those, I wouldn't be who I am. So I am grateful for the topic as well too. Thank you. So if everybody's done, shall I pray us out? Absolutely. Great, thank you. Let's take a breath and we realize that in giving, we receive. And in receiving, we give. We say, Father, Mother, God, thank you. We know this is your truth. We know this is our job, our career, our love on earth is to be those vessels that hold the water and pass it through, pass it along and receive more. We know that you're here with us in all that we do and that all we need to do is ask, what is it you would have me do, God? What is it you would have me do? And we know the answer will be so. And for this and so many more blessings, we thank you. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. And like, comment, share, repeat. Uh, we answer all your comments. We appreciate your time. And I want to thank these lovely ladies for being here because we, they, they do this with just for the love of doing it. And we really love the time together. So come back tomorrow for something totally different. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining us and let's stay connected and grow in spirit. We are on Facebook, search for Unity Church of El Cajon and follow us and like our posts. You can reach us on YouTube at Unity Church of El Cajon.
Please subscribe to our channel, watch our videos, and leave comments, which can help us improve. We are on the web at unityofelcajon.org. Email or call our church office to receive our weekly newsletters, which lists all of our activities and opportunities to learn and grow together.